In this example problem, we're going to ask the question that if a wheel is rotating at 300 rotations per minute for a period of 10 seconds, how many radians will it actually rotate through? Just like the occasions of doing these problems for linear motion, we're going to solve a very close analog uh, equation for the angular case. This, in a linear case, would just be equivalent to if an object was traveling at a certain velocity for a certain time, how far did it go? Or the equation would be x equals vt. But now we're going to do it for the angular case, so it would be theta is equal to omega t, and we're asking how much theta, the angle, did it rotate through? We also have to do some conversions of units because we want to know in our answer in radians, and we want to know how to multiply something that's in rotations per minute times seconds. So we have to convert minutes to seconds, and we have to get out of rotations and into, or revolutions, and into radians. So we're going to multiply 300 revolutions per minute by some constants to get us into radians per second. Again, we have to take revolutions and convert them into radians. Well, there are 2 pi radians for every revolution. Notice the revolution here will cancel the revolution there. And we have to convert minutes to seconds. Well, there's again one minute for every 60 seconds. So we put 60 in the denominator. Now we multiply by 10 seconds. All of this over here is just omega, and here is t. So omega times t equals a theta. The answer then becomes 100 pi radians. This is about 314 radians, if you remember that pi is about 3.14. Or you can also remember that this is about, well, it's exactly 50 revolutions, because there's 2 pi radians in every revolution.